Hey guys, it's Elizabeth Cast of Low Carb, and on this episode, we're gonna get the best Costco keto grocery haul items coming up next. Hey guys, it's Elizabeth, Countess of Low Carb, and on today's episode, we're gonna get the best, the absolute best Costco keto grocery items, get all of our keto foods. But first, before we go in, dance your fingers down, click the like button, click subscribe, and sign up for my free weekly keto diet meal plan and intermittent fasting plan in the description link below. Let's go in and get all of our ketogenic diet goodies. So on today's episode, this video is in a collaboration with Daniela Diaries. I will put Daniela's amazing information down in the description link below. Um, Danielle is awesome YouTuber and I follow her on Instagram. Are we Instagram friends? Um, but I love watching her Instagram stuff because she's like a real mom. <laughs> she's a real person who's losing weight and has, I like, I really like her video. So go check those out in the description link below and go over to her YouTube page for this video for her Costco keto haul or her Costco haul and give a little heart and say from Elizabeth. And I would love to see how many Countess of Low Carb folks go over to her page and leave a little comment in her videos. Um, and while you're doing that, go make sure you put a little comment down on my videos too. Let's go through and get all of our keto items. Okay, my game plan is to go get keto pantry items. We have a ton of meat in our refrigerator from our meat CSA. You guys have seen my other grass-fed keto videos on that. But um, I'm looking for more of vegetables, more for, we're gonna have some picnics, so some picnic keto foods, and then also just restockpiling our pantry item. Like we have no apple cider vinegar left. I know, that's crazy. Let's go through and I'll show you what I'm gonna get while also doing keto on a budget too. Truth be told, my absolute favorite and best keto food that I love to get from Costco is their steaks. Their steaks are so good, as are um, their tenderloins and their ribs, and it just is all delicious. But the different prices in meat, they're usually $20 to $15 per steak, depending on which cut that you get. Now that we do a monthly grass-fed uh, CSA, I don't get these steaks, but the, their, their New York strips are pretty dang good. Um, out their ahi tuna, which is $15 per pound, and wanted to check out also their halibut, how much that was per pound, which was also $18 per pound. Um, and the sockeye, I have not gotten, but that was also not in the price range that I wanted to get. I went over to their steelhead fillets. I've never had those. Put in the comments below if you've had steelhead fillets. They also have tilapia, which I don't get, and I don't get farm-raised food um, or farm-raised fish. So I was passing on these, but I was curious as to how much it was costing per pound. I do love their cod, which we get because it's wild um, haddock and they have wild cod also. They're not farm made, they're wild cod, which we usually do get those and those are usually about $8 per pound, as is the seafood. And y'all know I love these lobster tails. I have a whole episode on how to cook those on the grill and I do enjoy their shrimp, but I don't like their farm raised shrimp that they have. So I'm cognizant not to get the farm raised shrimp that I'm showing right here. Sausages are pretty amazing. I do enjoy these hot sausages. Just make sure you always check ingredients. But each package, it's four packs for $14. So what is that? $3.50 per thing. Each sausage link is what? $0.75 cents approximately. I like those a lot, as does the pork shoulder because it's only $2.99 per pound or $1.99 per pound. Cheap meat that's delicious that you can put in your crock pot for an easy keto meal. I also like their pork tenderloin for great crock pot meals, which I've done tons of. If you check out my Countess playlist to see them. Those. I do also like getting their, um, oh, there it is, their brisket flat. Although brisket's gotten expensive near July 4th, it's gotten a little bit pricier. So I'm passing on the brisket, although I do love it so much. Next is their pot roast meat, which is $6 per pound. Again, I love using my crock pot to help save on finances with getting cheaper cuts of beef, and I really love them. They do have their organic meat. It's basically $5 per pound for their organic beef, but they do have regular beef over here, which I like their pre-made patties for only like four bucks a pound, $3.69 per pound. I like their big old hamburger freshly made patties as well. And then they do have here this ham, which is $2.99. That's a great price if you're interested in getting some ham and cooking that, which I've done several recipes on really simply. I do love their rotisserie chicken. Be mindful of the creepy carbs on the skin. I did get one. It's a conscious choice knowing there is inflammatory properties in that skin. 
I literally squealed when I saw these stuffed peppers with beef and then I saw the rice on them. I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. I was so excited about them if they had just kept the rice out of them. So I was moving along to my next section to see, excuse that camera jiggle, but I do like the salad. I was actually very intrigued, not on the price tag that I can make it at home myself <laughs> with the other ingredients, but for a pre-made salad, that would be a potentially good keto choice uh, if you want for a keto lunch or a keto dinner. I'm not quite sure why I'm showing you this shot, but there you go. Next I wanted to get these wings, but no, the ingredients were creepy carbs, has dextrose in it, so I'm definitely not getting their wings. Um, you can make your own in an air fryer for really inexpensive and no creepy carbs. Same thing with this pulled rotisserie chicken meat. It does have creepy carbs in it. It's 13 bucks for that whole pulled rotisserie chicken, but it comes with uh, food starch, potato, and tapioca in there, so that's a no-go, and I'm putting it back. They do have... These kielbasas, which I thought was interesting, they're organic grass-fed ones, but they have sugar as one of the added ingredients. So I also ended up putting those back, even though it was all organic, but it did have sugar listed as zero, but the ingredients told us otherwise. So always be mindful to check your ingredients. Skin. little on-the-go protein boxes. Great concept. They look really marketing-wise cute, but two bucks for this whole thing. Two bucks for each one, so six dollars total. It's eggs, meat, salami, and cheese. Like, no thanks, I'll make my own, but uh, if you're on the go, it would be a two-buck pack. They also have my favorite, which is basil pesto. I love basil pesto. It's so delicious. It's yummy. You can put it on some meat, vegetables. They did have artichoke lemon pesto, which I wish I had gotten. I'm kicking myself I didn't, but it did have canola oil, so I ended up passing on it because that is a creepy carb and an inflammatory property, so I passed about how much I love queso fresco fried in bacon grease. So delicious. I passed on it, but it's so good. I did end up getting these. They do have creepy carbs in it. However, I needed a quick to-go snack for us going to the pool recently. And so while I'm making a conscious choice to get it, it it's, a, it's a low carb item, not a keto item. I did get this raw organic sauerkraut. I am so stinking excited about this because it was only one carb for two tablespoons. So many amazing health benefits of sauerkraut. So I'm going to get this too added to my cart. And I also wanted to check out their chunky guacamole. I do like their individual packets as well. Um, we have plenty at home, but I wanted to see if there was any, sometimes they add new guacamole packs, but not today. So you could make your own wings at home with an air fryer. I love my Kasari air fryer. I have a whole video as to how to use the air fryer with the wings. It's super, super simple for a great keto food. They do have these pork panko chicken breasts. I'm so stinking excited. I had to check it out, see the ingredients to see, uh, okay, it's pork panko. Let's see what's in there. And I realized as I was looking at the pork panko, it's actually just panko. So it's 13 carbs per package and it also has horrible ingredients like cornstarch, dextrose, boo. I'm not getting this, but it has 13 carbs for one piece of chicken. So this for sure was a definite pass and not pork panko. These are a prime example. So these are a prime example of reading your label. Do you think pork panko would be great? 13 carbs per piece of chicken. It's going back. These organic zucchini spiral noodles are only $2 a pack. I'm going to go ahead and grab them. There's four per $9. So what is that? $2 and a quarter. I also love the organic rice cauliflower. It's so good. It goes in so many different dishes. It's a great keto meal choice uh, on the ketogenic diet. I really, it's a go-to for me. So a great choice would be getting the organic rice cauliflower if you like to have Indian dishes or side dishes with um, the rice, just making it the cauliflower. They also have organic broccoli florets are another great low carb choice. And then the other one that I got was the organic zucchini noodles. That is an awesome price for organic zucchini. And there's four different packages making them about $2 a piece, which I highly recommend. And it's in it's in my car. Component of making your own organic hard-boiled eggs, but this is Royal Weight Loss Meets Real Life, so this may be a choice for you to have their pre-made hard-boiled eggs. There, of course, are like massive quantities to make your own. These cream cheese tubs are huge. I just was in awe of them for big families. And they also had huge, huge sour creams, which I guess are also for big families, not like mine.
I do enjoy a good LaCroix and helps me get off Diet Coke, but uh, these do break a fast, so I don't really drink them anymore, but they are a fun little treat every now and then for only eight bucks. Great choice is some heavy cream. I do love their heavy cream, as is their Kerrygold butter. The only place I can get Kerrygold butter now is at Costco. Costco's almond butter always grabs my eye. Whenever I pass by it, I always have to recheck the ingredients, recheck the carbs, just to make sure I'm not missing any creepy carbs included in there, but I am excited about this. The ingredients for this are only roasted almonds, nothing else added into it, no weirdo canola oil, like literally the ingredients just say, let me show you. Uh, I'm gonna double recheck on it. It says refrigerate after opening just roasted almonds. That's it. So this would be an awesome, awesome, best keto choice for the ketogenic diet. I've purchased one of these huge coconut oil tubs before and actually used it out thoroughly. I do recommend it. They do have Sir Kensington. Be mindful of this avocado mayonnaise. It does have added sugars into it, so I don't get it. I am fascinated with this huge avocado oil bottle. I mean, for 17 bucks, look how huge that is. That would be a great fat source for the ketogenic diet. There is also these canola oils, dun, 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 total creepy carbs with canola oil. That is a no purchase. I wanted to boot scoot down to their vegetable oil. That is also a no purchase and a creepy carb that is not good for the keto diet. Pass that. That's going to stall your weight loss. Another weight loss stall is soybean oil. It's an inflammatory property. Do not get that. Hemp hearts are wonderful. I do totally recommend them. They're organic. They're really good, low carb. I do recommend those totally. Also, their almond flour is really good. It's $4.33. You might be able to find this cheaper on Amazon, but it is a good choice if you're at Costco. Look at this product. Total creepy carbs, not a good keto item. This is why this is so interesting is it has as the third ingredient on here listed as sugar and it says in the nutrition facts there's no sugar in it, which man food manufacturers can round down. I just thought it was fascinating that this was a prime example and why would you not just make your own bacon? I get the convenience part of it, but I wanted to show an example of how labels- Dressing is amazing. Labels. I highly recommend it. Get the chosen dressing. It's really a good buy to get for a keto food. I also do love their pickles. I'm getting this huge jar of pickles to help with electrolytes. I really highly recommend it as a keto food on the ketogenic diet. I'm halfway debating getting these artichoke hearts. Y'all love my newfound love for artichokes. I'm in love with them. I think they taste so delicious and they're a great low carb food. I do recommend them. I'm just not getting these today. They do have almonds as well. Um, if you want to make my almond recipe that I have and they have olives too, if you want to get some olives for a high fat, moderate protein, low carb meal or snack, a keto snack. <laughs> and then they do have the great everything in the bagel seasoning. Uh, I, it's a massive quantity of it. Look at this product, total creepy carbs, not a good keto item. So I've talked about this on other episodes, but this is a prime example of a product that is marketed to make it look like it's a keto food. And oh, it's not and bone broth is the yeah. best choice, but a, a good choice is also this bone broth that they have. It does not have creepy carbs. I also was eyeing up this rice cauliflower. I just kept looking at it. Oh, there's six pouches in it, and I didn't see any outlying ingredients. Let me know if you've ever gotten that before. Here's what my cart looks like as I've been going through my shopping. So quick recap, I went to go look for the apple cider vinegar. I cannot find it anywhere, so I'm gonna bail on it, but I wanted to show some of the items I got. As a quick check-in, I got my organic zucchini spiral noodles, $2 approximately per bag, which I'm excited about. I did end up getting these. These were new, the little salami and cheese carry things. They do have dextrose in them, so be mindful of the creepy carbs with that. I also got a rotisserie chicken some pickles and some sauerkraut, and now I'm gonna go Y'all have asked me about these MCT items. oil uh, packets, if they're a good keto food and a good keto fat source. I don't use them. I'd prefer just to use my travel coconut packets from Trader Joe's, but that is a potential option. Y'all have also asked me about these apple cider vinegar pills. Don't get them. They do have creepy carbs in them. They're made out of wheat um, and yeast, or, excuse me, just the wheat. The wheat
I love taking an Epsom salt bath. I wanted to check out their prices for that, for their magnesium. In addition, I wanted to look at these little electrolyte packets. They had a ton of carbs in them, and pickle juice is a great ketogenic diet electrolyte. So I am home after a long day. I was like, oh yeah, I didn't film what I put in my refrigerator. So excuse my half taken off makeup and then trying to like not. But I got a whole rotisserie chicken. I got a ton of sauerkraut, which you'll be seeing on upcoming videos. So stay tuned of what I'm using that for and why I have it. But it was one carb for two tablespoons of sauerkraut. I'm in. I also got some pickles, which are in the garage. And I forget. Oh, and I got, and I got these. And I got these cool salami snacks. They do have dextrose in them, which is no bueno. That is not good. But I got them because I got them because sometimes you just need to have a grabby thing. So, and that's why I look tired like I do because we needed a quick grabby thing. If you found this video helpful, make sure you smash that like button. Make sure you click subscribe. Go check out Daniela Diaries down in the description link below and sign up for my free weekly Wednesday weight loss email. Bye guys. Make it a powerful day.